Have you ever heard of Bokashi balls before? Okay, well, I really haven't. Bokashi balls are created from a mixture of bran, wheat bran, molasses, and various bacteria oh. and they are used to restore water to its ecological balance. I so thought we were going to eat them. They slowly <laughs> release into the water to consume odor causing toxins to break down waste and now some very bright sparks are using them to grow environmental awareness among school kids. Amazing. Joburg learners are making a splash on the Brompentein Sprite and other areas surrounding the city through an initiative put together by Joburg City Parks and Zoo. This initiative aims to give learners hands-on experience on a new water cleaning technique and I'm here to find out all about it. On hand to explain water quality and testing and the role Bokashi balls play in ensuring that the green belt stays green was Ben Masalesa. Ben, why the decision to get school learners involved in this water cleaning project? The idea came about when we started cleaning up uh, the Zoo Lake uh, precinct with uh, uh, effective microorganisms. And uh, we needed uh, you know, a couple of friends. We got in touch with uh, the school environmental groups to come and assist with the throwing of the mud balls into the lake. And that's when the whole thing started to shape up and uh, you know, with a lot of interest from the learners themselves. We saw that enthusiasm and we decided that we should, you know, expand and carry out to, to most of the schools in and around Joe Why would you say it's important for the young generation to become environmentally aware? It, it is important, uh, you know, to, for, for youngsters to, to get involved in, in environmental awareness because, you know, the future, it, it's not ours. The future is for our children. It's for our children's children. So if you get the youngsters to, 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 to be involved more in environmental awareness, uh, it, it, it saves, you know, it saves the, the, the environment for, for the, their future, even the future of their own children. So if we don't do that, uh, you, you can take an example where the, the tropical uh, forests have been decimated, you know, for in commercial use and so on and so forth. But when children are aware of that, they are the ones who are going to stop it and say, we better use alternative methods rather than harm our own environment. Here, youngsters learn about water quality and testing and ensure that the green belt stays green through a method developed in Japan using Bokashi balls. Most of our dams and rivers and lakes produce our water that come in our taps and if we could just clean that water a little bit more it would really help us to have better water coming through our taps. Each ball cleans approximately a thousand cubic meters of water so this initiative has already left a huge volume of Johannesburg's water cleaner and fresher. And where are you planning on taking this project in the future? South Africa has been slow in catching up with uh, the use of the effective microorganisms. Whereas the international world is already doing that, the zoos in, in most of the other countries outside uh, Africa are using effective microorganisms to clean up the, the enclosures. They're using it for, for agricultural use, where, you know, the yield that you get from use of microorganisms has shown tremendous improvement as compared to your normal chemical fertilizers. So South Africa has been slow on the uptake of the use of microorganisms, but it's, it's slowly getting there because some of the big farmers now are using the, the organisms for their produce. I must say it's great to see initiatives taking learners outside of the classroom and exposing them to different ways of cleaning our environment. And after getting my hands dirty today, I definitely can't wait to see what the future holds for this project.